Hi, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is all is well with everyone. This content that you are about to view may be offensive if you are easily offended, then please do not watch. My name is Carmela Banks. So this porn star named Maya uh, Khalif, you know what I'm saying, which is what she's doing. She, you know, she just came out and she's supposed to be giving a message to all the women who got uh, fan only pages, adult fans only page, wanting them not to do, not to get off of the fans only page as soon as possible. That's what her message. She said um, she regret her 11 videos that she have um, done that made her popular she's not no porn star you got to you listen listen people understand this and this is to all you naive motherfucking women and this is to all you naive men who think you are going to be a type of porn star the only way that you become a porn star is if you Get popular doing porn. Your your porn videos is the most popular video in the porn industry. And outside companies like Trojan will come to you, write you a check for you to advertise that condom. Or lubricant companies will come to you, write you a check for you to promote their lubricant company, their lubricant products, or any type of sex, you know what I'm saying, toy or sex, uh, any type of major corporation who come to you and offer you big checks to endorse or advertise their products. That's when you become a porn star. You do not, I repeat people, you do not make money in the porn industry. Trust me, back in the early, take it for somebody who motherfucking know this shit. Back in the early, but well, late 90s, I had my own porn website called porn, I mean, uh, a sex.net. I invested in it because I know sex.com was owned by Hugh Hefner. So I invested in sex.net so that I can get some of the overflow traffic. I knew I was going to get a whole lot of overflow traffic from sex.com, which I did, which I made a killing at. I was not a porn actor. I was just the owner of the porn company, website company. You understand? So I know that these actresses and actors do not make no fucking money. Let me tell you who makes more money than a porn actress. A street prostitute makes more money than a porn actress. Because when you sign, when you are a female and you sign up with one of these production companies to do porn, you will maybe get, uh, and you are low, you, you never even been heard of, you may get maybe a couple of hundred bucks, maybe two or three hundred bucks just to suck dick on camera for a fucking hour. When a, when a whore on the street gets paid, what, maybe a hundred bucks to suck dick for maybe 20 minutes. Or five minutes or ten minutes. You got to suck dick for a whole hour in order to get a couple of hundred bucks if you are in the porn industry. Because when you watch a porn video and you see a whole scene, a whole hour long scene of a chick sucking dick, well, that's all she got paid for. For was that one scene? So when that chick stopped sucking dick and now she goes into fucking, guess what? Now she got that's a whole nother contract. She get paid a whole nother 
a, a, a wage, not salary, a whole nother wage to do the fucking scene. And she'll be fucking for a motherfucking hour just to get that little bit of money. That's how the porn industry works. And that's the same way with the men. The men get paid way less than the females. So if the females get paid two or three hundred bucks, you best believe the males get paid maybe like fifty bucks. There's no way that you're going to make money as being a porn actress or porn actor unless you get an outside endorsement from a company who is willing to give you a check to promote their products or service. In other words, motherfucking and way after you, you know what I'm saying, you done got old and you done made all of these videos, you know what I'm saying, your pussy's worn out and your, your dick is worn out to all you men, you know what I'm saying, motherfucking them, don't nobody want you. Don't nobody want to settle down with a fucking whore. And plus you uh, got all of these videos out, motherfucker, and you ain't making no money from them. Let me tell you the prime example of the reason why Maya says she regret and it haunts her. Because even though she got these videos, these 11 videos, she became a Pornhub star. And even though she got these 11 videos out there, which she ain't making no fucking money from. She got these 11 videos out there, and the only people that is making money from her is the people whose platform it's on. The only thing that she received is being a good head jobber or being a good fucker. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Be, being a good, you know what I'm saying, performer. That is all she getting recognition for. That is all you women get recognition for. You don't get no money. Now, as far as fans only page, I don't know how that works. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you do get money because, you know what I'm saying? I think the fans only pages act kind of like a, a adult website. You know what I'm saying? In order for you to view the content, the people got to pay an initial charge. So maybe people do get money from the fans only pages. But you got to understand, you may, you may get money from the fans only pages. But that content don't belong to you. And that is what Maya is talking about. Or Mia. Mia or Maya is talking about. The content don't belong to you. The same way I'm making these videos on YouTube. Even though I may say these videos is my videos. is my content. The content don't really belong to me. Because as soon as I upload them. They automatically get registered onto YouTube. They're YouTube's content. Not mine. Don't believe me? Try uploading, if you are a musician, try uploading your music to YouTube. Automatically, YouTube automatically copyrights your music onto their record company, which becomes theirs. Yes, you get money for your music every time somebody click on and play the video, but the content belongs to them. That's what Facebook also the content belongs to Facebook and so forth and so forth. So they willing, they can do whatever they want to which your shit. And that is what Maya is talking about. You know what I'm saying? She regretted because way after, you know what I'm saying? Because she's right now, she's out of the porn business. She's not in the porn business no more. So she is a sports commentator now. You know what I'm saying? But way after she got out of the business, those 11, remember, ele the reason why I said this woman is doing a ritual because it had to be 11 videos. 11 is the Master Mason's number. 11 means, you know what I'm saying, foundation. So her foundation that she built on was porn. But even though her foundation that she built on was porn, She's not receiving any residuals from her foundation. She probably make more. She's probably making more money. Well, she is making more money from being a sports commentator than she is in the porn. Than she is was when she was in the porn industry. 
And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Now, now, like I said, it could be different with the fans only because I don't really know how that how that fans only thing work. You know what I'm saying? It could be different as far as you receiving money. But you must understand if you become your content is not yours. That's number one. I know some of you may say, well, I'm not trying to get no, I don't care as long as I get the money. That's how a lot of, that's how a lot of recording artists get fucked. Because they're willing to take the money, but then the record company keeps their masters. So years later, the record company still continuously to make money putting out box hits and you know what I'm saying and 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 oldie classics and and residuals from your shit and you ain't getting nothing from it see how that works and see Maya is thinking long term you raggedy ass bitches who's on this motherfucker damn fans only page trying to get that money are thinking short term and way after you make your money on your fans only page when you get older you are not going to have anything to leave your family or sustain you you know what i'm saying in order in order let me put it like this in order to have a business you want that business to take care of your family years on years, years on years. You know what I'm saying? Like Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton is a billionaire because her family owns the Hilton empire. And then Paris Hilton got kids. Her family, her kids is going to inherit that same wealth. Niggas don't look at it like that. Maya is looking at it like that. She's receiving nothing. From being a, a porn star. A porn actress. She's receiving nothing. But yet she's worn out inside. And you black women. Is not receiving anything. From selling your ass. On fans only pages. And years later. After you are all worn out inside. And you ain't got no fucking walls. You ain't got nothing to show for it. And your kids got to see mommy. Motherfucker them. 20 years later. Motherfucker them. Fucking on camera. That's what she's talking about. But anyway. I hope I, this this video was edifying. I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like this show. Hit that hate button if you hate this show. Hit that comment below, leave a question or comment on this show. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you. Yeah. Uh-huh.